So here in InDesign, we're going to have a look at how we use our tabs to basically um, align things up um, in InDesign here. So I've got a kind of introductory uh, line here to each of these paragraphs, and then I have a tab uh, here, and then my kind of main part of the paragraph that flows um, through from that. Now what I want to do is have all of this kind of main part of the paragraph lined up neatly, um, but my text to the left here kind of offset to the left so, left, so kind of kept separate uh, from the rest of the main paragraph. So I'm going to select a couple of paragraphs here. Now I've also turned on under type um, and right down the bottom my hidden characters. So you can see we can toggle off and on our hidden characters and basically uh, these are useful for kind of seeing where your tabs are, seeing where your paragraph um, symbols are so you know exactly uh, kind of what you've got available when you're formatting your type. So what we're going to do here is format the, the tabs um, first of all and then we're going to format uh, some of the left indenting and right indenting but before we kind of go ahead we're going to go to window workspace and we're going to go to the essentials classic view and I am going to go to windows workspace and I'm going to reset the Essentials Classic View. And you should do the same. Basically, it means we're looking at exactly the same kind of layout of um, InDesign. So uh, if you're not using Essentials Classic, um, then you'll see some of these options across here. But we'll kind of run through a few of those things as we kind of talk through this. So basically, um, the first thing I want to do is go to, with these two paragraphs selected and highlighted, go to Type and Tabs. And with those paragraphs selected, you're tabs panel here should kind of glue to the top of that uh, paragraph, to the topmost paragraph. So I've got my left aligned or left justified tab um, selected here. And basically I can click on this and then just drag it along this lighter gray bar to basically apply where my paragraph is going to align to the left. So I'm going to set that to around 75 and actually I'm going to type in a precise measurement there so I remember it when I go into some of my other settings here. So we've aligned the tab to where we want that to start. So the next step um, is to have a look at our left indent and our first line indent. And what we can do here, um, and if you don't see these up at the top in the options toolbar, then just go to type and paragraph and we'll see those same options for the left indent and the first line indent um, here as well. So I'm going to close this one up. We'll just work up here for the moment. Uh, so in here, for my left indent, I'm going to type 75, which is going to indent everything. I can close this tabs panel for now. It's going to indent everything uh, to 75 millimeters. And then we can add a negative value um, into this first line indent. So I'm going to type in negative 75, which is now going to pull that first line away from that uh, indented uh, section of my paragraph and you can see everything is beautifully lined up there. Now if we want to apply this to a larger document or to kind of multiple paragraphs with this selected and basically set up we can create a paragraph style and I'm going to just apply um, a font to this so we'll go for Myriad Pro and regular and I'll leave it at 12 point. I will also um, and you'll also find this option in your type paragraph options too. Um, I'm going to modify the space after the paragraph. So up here and also here we have the space after the paragraph which will allow us to kind of move those paragraphs apart and give us our spacing in millimeters or inches or whichever kind of measurements you're using or pikers if you're kind of more print orientated. Then basically um, with that set up now I'm going to go to type and bring up my paragraph styles. And with this selected, these two paragraphs, or just one paragraph, I can create a new paragraph style, and I'll call this uh, para with indent. And if I click OK, I can now pull this to the side, and any paragraph that I click in and apply that to will basically format um, with that indent, and everything is lined up perfectly. I can also, if I grab my selection tool, apply that to a whole frame as well. So if I select power with indent here, it's going to apply it to that whole frame. So I moved back to the selection tool and then applied it um, to all of those paragraphs in one go. There's some other cool stuff we can do with paragraph styles once we're into this kind of 
list like setup here and that is if we double click into that um, it's one of my favorite features of InDesign is the drop caps and nested styles we can create a new nested style that applies a style just to um, this first little block of text here so I'm gonna go in here and we'll use a bold font style now you'll see a long list of uh, styles here but you need to use a style that is actually available in the, the font family that you're using. So I know that bold is available in Myriad Pro, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, and for my character color, I'm just gonna set it to a red. Obviously you can use any color that you want. And basically what this will do, um, using this nested styles feature, is it's gonna format a pre-specified um, set of that uh, kind of paragraph based on what I enter here. So I'm gonna format this up to the tab character so this tab character which is the tab character in between here and when I click away from here now so just click in the gray space it's going to format those first lines now if you happen to kind of bump uh, your lines out of place here then you can come back into the indents and spacing here and you can see we can modify the left indent a little bit and we can also modify the first line indent back a little bit so still that negative value and then we can also come to our tabs, select the tab here, and we can tweak that as well. So everything still lines up perfectly. So I just set everything to 80 or minus 80 in those two settings. So you can see this is a super cool way of kind of formatting paragraphs. It can save a lot of time uh, once you kind of get to grips with the paragraph styles and playing around with those indents and left indents and to get things lined up perfectly. The other place this works, works really well um, is in our bullets and numbering so we can use those left indents and first line indents to bring the bullets away from the, the actual list items which can be a nice way of formatting those lists but that's for another tutorial so hopefully this has been useful if you have any questions about InDesign then please do leave them below otherwise um, I look forward to seeing you on the next tip